Hey, you want to know the secret to winning tons of tennis matches? Don't miss. Be consistent. Think about it. Across all levels of tennis, consistency wins. Putting the ball in the court wins matches. Who would have thought? So in this video, I'm going to teach you three things you can do to become instantly more consistent as a tennis player. So let's get right into this video. My name is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. You're going to really love this video because if you follow what I'm going to tell you right now in this video, you will become more consistent pretty quickly, I think. So the first thing I want you to practice when you hit the court is I want you to practice short court tennis. And so here you can see me playing some short court tennis. Another really awesome player that I know is practicing lots of short courts. Lots of the pros practice a short court. Uh, but Layla Fernandez, there's lots of videos of her training. She's always working on that short court. And look at her feet. She's popping the popcorn, as Rick Macy loves to say. If you ever went and go watch uh, King Richard, you'll, you'll see Rick say that. So she's not only just hitting there really kind of like casually, she's moving her feet, okay? And notice what else she's doing. She's following through, she's swinging through the ball. So when you go up into the short court and you rally, it's not just about tapping the ball in, which a lot of recreational players do because they don't feel confident. It's actually having a shorter backswing and be able to do a full follow through. And this will really help you work on your top spin. And if you can get the ball to actually land in in the short court, well, hitting from the baseline is going to feel so easy because you're going to feel like you have so much margin now to play if you, if you can go up there and do some pretty nice full swings in the short court and figure out a way to get the ball going in, you're on the track to really figure out how to spin a ball, which is a big part of consistency. So that's number one. Number two, now we're back at the baseline. Number two, I've got a great thing that you can do. I learned this from Nick Saviano, who has coached so many amazing players on the tour, also had a great career on the tour as well. And I was watching him give a speech, he said, hey, with all my pros, when they come out and they start playing, I tell them 50% power, 100% feet. You might want to write that down. 50% power, 100% feet. I want to have them start saying, whether it's a grunt or it's just in their head, what they're thinking to themselves as they're hitting the ball, they're going over the net and in. Over the net and in. He was actually doing the demo and he was actually saying it as he was hitting it. And so it's kind of like that self-fulfilling prophecy. You're telling the ball what to do. You're moving your feet. You're playing within your range of skill set. He said a lot of people come out, especially men, come out and they're going 100% power, 50% footwork or less. So remember that, you do that. Go out there, really think about your feet, moving your feet, getting that split step, and then when you go to hit, hit it and say to yourself, over the net and in. Come back to this video and tell me if it worked. Okay, so if you're still watching this video, that means that you must like something about it. At least I hope so. So give this video a like, and if you do so, you're gonna get 100 free puppy kisses from my buddy B2. And if you subscribe, it's unlimited. All right, let's get to the final tip in this video. Okay, third and final tip to become a more consistent player instantly is it's kind of along the, the same mindset of the over the net and in, but I find this really helps me, is to time out the bounce and the hit. Again, the more you get into a flow state in tennis, this is where you're gonna play your most consistent tennis. That's why footwork to me is so important. When you're moving your feet, you're flowing, you're split stepping, you're preparing early, and then you can get into a flow without having to think about your shots, you become more consistent. So, as the ball bounces, you're gonna say to yourself, bounce. And then when you think it's time to hit, you say to yourself, hit. Or you can let out a little grunt or breath. And then that's gonna put you into a really nice rhythm. And if you do these three things back to back to back, when you start playing and warming up, you're gonna find that you, you get into a zone, a rhythm to where you're not missing many shots. You're, you feel like you're consistent, you're rock solid. And if you can do that, and you go out there and you play your matches like that, you're gonna be so hard to beat. Because remember, if the ball's not in, you can't win. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked today's video, give this video a like. 
and subscribe. You know what else is super important besides being consistent when you go to play a match? Your serve. Many will tell you it's the most important shot in the game and I'm not going to disagree with them. So if you'd like to improve your serve, I get a free serve course right here, right now for you, up here in the card section. Click on that little I and you will get a link to my free course serving A to Z. It's not just three free videos, it's 33 free videos. So if you're having trouble with your toss, I'm going to help you fix it. If you don't know how to hit a great slice serve, I'm going to teach you how to do that. If you want a kick serve, you're going to learn that as well. If you want to learn the rhythm, the steps, the progressions, everything, serving A to Z, go up here, click there, go in the description box or go into the comment section. You can find that link and you can get free access. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next one.